Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to connect the friction shocks to the front axle and clean up the engine block.
All right, so I just got finished attaching the shocks here to the, the axle there, and I just kind of went off of the bolt there that mounts the hairpins and just kind of extended that out with a little stud there and uh, made an adjustable arm there to go down. And it turned out really nicely. I really like the, the look of that, and I think it should work pretty good. I was kind of stuck as what to do after that, so I just kind of threw the engine um, in between the frame here to get an idea of how it's going to look and how much room I'm going to have for clearance and there's not that much room because the frame gets pretty narrow up here and you can see I got a couple old water pumps in there and there's there's not much clearance there so I don't have too much to work with but I think I think it's going to um, work out pretty fine so so what I'm going to do now is uh, switch back over to the engine I'm going to take this take these heads off and stuff like that and try to clean the block as much as I can. Alright, so I got the engine block pretty well cleaned off here. I also cleaned the oil pan down here. Um, I just pressure washed it to get most of the, the grease and outside buildup off of it. That just makes it easier to handle so I don't need to worry about getting grease all over my hands whenever I'm working with this. Um, so I just pressure washed it and then sprayed it down with WD-40 to get that water off of it and then dried it with compressed air and that worked out really nicely. Um, it's much cleaner than as before. It is hard to get in kind of all these little places, but um, this is pl plenty good uh, for now. So the next thing is I'm going to need to get this engine and set it in the frame like I had earlier. And then I also need a transmission to stick on the back of it to figure out where that is going to go. And then once I have those two pieces together in the frame, I can figure out exactly where the drive shaft will be and then I can make some sort of center cross member for the frame to actually make the, the frame nice and strong and then from there I can actually build the rest of the, the car around the, the drive system. So that's going to be the best way to do it and hopefully what you'll see um, coming up in the next few videos. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for you for today. The next video might not come out quite on time since I'm going to be on vacation. Um, this next week or so. so. But I'm going to continue working away at this um, pretty much whatever time I have. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.